Alright, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. Um, yeah, I don't think I really ended my com thought from last time about the gentleman, but I'll, I, I may have. The main thing I wanted to leave off last from last time is just pray for him. It's obvious that he's a little... Oh, sorry about that. A little bit um, misinformed on a couple of things, so... Obviously, I don't wish for anything bad to happen to him or to anybody, so just... Prayers would be appreciated, was, I would personally say. Yeah, I'd leave it at that. Um, and I don't know if I've talked about this yet. I want to say I have, but I'll, I'll bring it up at the end. Why, why the heck not? Um, I have been reading more lately of the books that I've been picking up, like all the Catholic books. Um, I, I've been wanting to read them for a while. I just honestly happened to... I was pretty bad about it, to be quite honest. Like, I was really bad. Like, I owned them, and I wasn't really reading them. The only one that I was really reading, which immediately is the most important one, was the Bible. And that one I was reading every day. I still am, for the most part, some days I unfortunately don't get to because of John. But for the most part, I am doing that. And I was going to say, I know that's not John. It's not like John is conniving against me and doing that intentionally, as far as I'm aware. I can't remember if you can't go along with stuff. But, um, no, like, Paul of Tarsus, I've been reading, and I'd started that a while ago, a little bit after Easter, and I still haven't finished that, and obviously, now it's a li it's a lot past Easter. Um, I want to say that was later than that. By the way, I've also started the, uh, United States Catholic Catechism for Adults, and that one I'm actually getting further along in, like, not quite done with it yet, but I am definitely making progress, I would say. Okay, this is getting here. Good. Like, definitely making progress, because I have taken to reading a chapter of one of the books that is not the Bible a day, that way I can learn more about the Lord our God, as well as the people that help, has, have helped spread the Lord our God's message. So that's why I'm reading Paul of Tarsus, and well, as well as learning more about it, so, yeah. I am also currently, this one, um, well, not a Catholic, he honestly was very close in a lot of the ways that he thought, and I am, of course, talking about, uh, C.S. Lewis, that's who I'm talking about. I have been reading Mere Christianity, and that one's a really good one, too. I have Um, yeah, I've been enjoying that. So eventually, I plan to move on to the screw tape letters after I finish that one. And I mean, I know that that doesn't have any accuracy to it, but it's still interesting to kind of see the perspective of that. I suppose would be a good way to put it. If that makes sense, I think that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. I can't remember. I can't decide if that makes sense. I'm gonna go with that does make sense. Possibly just for me, I'm going to go if that makes sense. But, anyways, I was going to, yeah, the reading mirror Christianity, and a lot of what's in there does happen to make, you know, a lot of sense. It's just a shame because he was so close, and yet so far. And I mean, I'm sure that uh, Tolkien and uh, Lewis were like, "Ah, oh, come on, man, you're so close. Came so close." And yet, so far, in the end, it didn't even matter. It, it does matter, by the way. I just like, I, I don't know if I'd say I like that song. I like referencing that song. Yeah, I like referencing that song. That's a much better way to put it. Referencing that song is what I like to do. I don't know anybody that doesn't reference that song, at least a little bit ironically. I'm sure there's somebody. But no, I, Chesterton is one of the ones that I want to get into. I have the Lord of the Rings, and I have started that. I need to finish it now. I was going to say, that seems like kind of a weird segue, honestly, to go from talking about, uh... Oh, hey. From that, on, I was going to say, that send, seems like kind of a weird segue to go from talking about you know, God to Lord of the Rings. But the thing is, I don't know if a lot of people know this, Tolkien actually happened to be a pretty big uh, Catholic. Like, 
a really big Catholic. So, a lot of the stuff in Lord of the Rings has Catholic undertones. And I was going to say, it's honestly a lot easier to see those Catholic undertones with the Similarian, which I still need to read, but I was going to say, you can kind of see the undertones as it is. You know, oh, wait, don't do that. I was going to say, one such undertone is uh, Gandalf and the Wizards and that type of stuff, because, uh, you know, that's kind of sim. It's not. Gandalf is meant to be, if I remember correctly, an angel. Obviously, it's not a one to one ratio, and that makes sense if you know uh, what Tolkien says about that, that you shouldn't try to read. What Tolkien says, as told C.S. Lewis at least, one shouldn't try to remake the best story that's already been told already. So that's why it's. It'll have undertones, but it's not going to be right in your face about it. And a lot of people don't even realize that for Lord of the Rings. But no, Catholic was a huge Tolkien. Pardon me. Tolkien was a pretty huge Catholic. So honestly, it's pretty cool to have a person that you've known about for years, but you haven't. I mean, you've known about them, and I mean, I have known about them, but you didn't know this thing about him, even though it's not like Tolkien hit it. Tolkien didn't really hit it at all. Yep, yeah, that's just gonna say. I thought these were supposed to fall. Apparently not. Maybe this one does. Yeah, it's this one. But no, yeah, I was gonna say, um Tolkien might have been even I wouldn't say too far Catholic. Um nobody can be too far Catholic. He was very traditional, I suppose, and he did not happen to agree with the Second Vatican Council, which I know that not a lot of people agree with the Second Vatican Council. However, there is a lot of good to the Second Vatican Council, and that is not something that I can honestly even deny. While there is some, there has been some abuses, unfortunately, the, I would say that the overall has been really good. That may just be me, though. I remember correctly, we need the uh, grappling hook for the uh, door down there, so I'm not going there quite yet. Not quite yet. This is a room we've been in. It would really suck if we fell, wouldn't it? Can I do, do? Can I remember? Nope, this is real lava. Can I remember? Alright. There we go. I knew something was up about that room, I just could not happen to remember what it was. But no, honestly, I've been going through The Hobbit. I've been reading to that, that to my son as well, as been reading the Bible as well as the other Catholic material I have. I'm honestly really excited to finish Paul Tarsus, because I have been, just because, mainly due to the fact of how much I really have been enjoying that one. And that one's been, was written in the 40s. I think that sounds right. I also did read Bishop Fulton J. Sheen's uh, Wartime Prayer Book. And that one, I, there was a lot of Bishop, Ful, Bishop Fulton J. Sheen. My, I think it was venerable and it's on the way to sainthood. I can't remember at the moment. There's a lot of, uh, not controversy, would not be the right word, but um, there's a lot of history behind that. That'd be the right word. Honestly, he had a lot of interesting, they were typically, uh, small little tidbits, but they were honestly very well thought together and interesting, so, you know, Fulton, everything that's been said about Fulton J. Sheen is pretty accurate. I would love one of these days to uh, pick up his uh, Life is Worth Living series, which I don't currently have. And, I mean, until I get money, I won't have it. That's the uh, plain and simple fact. kind of need money to afford stuff. That's the way the world goes. I don't like it, but that's the way it is. And I don't know why I talk like that, and I'm still talking about this. It's a little disconcerting, eh? I'm not, hey, I'm, I'm going to stop that now, because as I said, I'm not quite positive why I am talking like that, but I was. I'm just going to check here real quick and make sure that it is uh, me might be able to... I'm 
can at least get that part. I don't know if it's this part after that we need the grappling hook for then. Or whatever it's called. Yep, it's the part after. Okay. Which I thought it was, but I couldn't quite remember. So I think you need that. I'm almost positive you need that. I'm just going to say you do and continue on. But no, I've been reading that. I really want to get to uh, Pope Benedict's, uh, you know, Jesus of Nazareth. I just gonna say, I have the first two. I don't have the third one yet. There's so much, there's so much rich Catholic theology as well as history that I want to get behind. I want to read the early church fathers. I want to read church history. It's just, honestly, there's... Unfortunately, when you don't have much time, that's what makes it hard. And that's why I have started dedicating at least a chapter a day. And honestly, I've sped up innumerably since then. I'll typically go through a different book each day. One day is Paul of Tarsus, one day is uh, Mere Christianity, which Mere Christianity is a lot shorter of a book. So I started that in, I want to say November, halfway through with that. I started the Catechism much, much earlier than that. And I am now halfway through that, so... Okay, I'll come back to that. Or... Eh, let's go check it out. Okay, I suppose it's not hard to get in there. It's a little hard to get out, but um... Yeah, as I said, started the started the Catechism, so been really enjoying that. Or, not the Catechism, the United States. The the skimmed down version that gives the uh, skinny on it. I'd like to get the Catechism. I'd honestly like to start getting books of canon law eventually, as well as Dante's Inferno. Um, as I said, definitely want to get some of more of it, Bishop Fulton J. Sheen stuff. Um, Father John Ricardo. I have, oh, I suppose I can talk about that. Um, I've been listening to more Bishop Barron as well as uh, Father Mike Schmidt. Both are very smart, intellectual Catholics and are very good at what they do, I suppose is the best one. Honestly, most people that know of them know what they talk about. And honestly, Bishop Barron, I think, is the more, I don't want to say intellectual, because honestly, Father Mike Schmitz is such a nice guy, and that would be discrediting him. But uh, Father Mike Schmitz is definitely the more personal of it. I would say personal of the two. I would say that they're both very smart. Because, uh, yeah, but Bishop Barron is very smart. He's very well educated. I'm sure anybody that's watching this knows. Um, there's one that I've been listening to lately that isn't a priest, but I can't remember his name currently. And I like his stuff. I bought, I picked up his book, Doctor Ray Goretti. Um, sometimes he's a little off putting. I'm not, I'm not even gonna remotely butter that up. But um, he's very interesting to listen to. I picked, obviously, he has a lot of stuff on parenting because he is a chi he is a therapist, psychologist. I honestly lose track of words, so I can't remember which one it technically, which one it, a fish, I mean, which one, what's the proper name for it, pardon me. I can't remember the proper name, that's what I'm trying to say, so. That's, yeah, but he has a show on EWTN. And that's honestly where I find him the most off-putting is on his uh, radio show. He has a TV show as well, and I don't have EWTN, unfortunately. So, that is rather unfortunate. I'd like to eventually get... I can't get this without the ice beam. I may have come here a bit too early. That is unfortunate, because I was going to say, i got to freeze those guys. I can't freeze those guys without the ice beam, so... May as well just move on. Or wait for those one, two, one, the two, the three. I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys at the moment. I really want pizza, but I'll talk about why I can't get pizza at the moment or next time because that is about gonna do it. Although we did get the ice cream. Um, I'll talk about one other quick thing before we do happen to finish the episode because I really like this aspect of Super Metroid and wish this was in other Metro in Metroid Fusion. I think it's in the Primes. I'd have to double check, but uh, I'll just show this real quickly. The fact that you can turn on and off anything, because Ice Beam, 
isn't bad, but it's not super great at the same time. And I, I'll get into that more next time as well as the moment while I, I can't really get pizza. Um, it's not it's not for health reasons, but we'll get into that next time. So, all right. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you all have a great day. However, before you go, as we always do, let us give the grace. Let us give glory to God. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, how many are my foes! Many are rising against me. Many are saying to me, There is no help for him in God. Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield about me. My Lord, and the lifter of my head, I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. Selah. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord. Deliver me, O my God. For thou dost smite all my enemies on the cheek. Thou dost break the teeth of the wicked. Deliver, deliverance belongs to the Lord. Thy blessings be upon thy people. Selah. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and God bless. Also, um, I would make a small note. Apparently, you don't have to be selling Sela. That is, there's reasons for that, and I believe that is more for the musical aspect of it. Um, 72 times, I believe it's in Psalms. I will look more into that later. I just was looking over, and it didn't seem like it was. Anyways. That's not the point. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you all have a wonderful day, and God bless.